Hey everybody, 139th here. <clears throat> Coming at you with another video. I'm off work today, so thought I'd throw a video out there for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to try to be more active. Um, went to Gettysburg last weekend with some guys from my company. Uh, the captain and the first sergeant and the other corporal. And um, the captain's son. <laughs> He's going to laugh when he sees this, but anyhow picked up uh, a cockade right there it's the Irish cockade uh, it says Aaron go brag in the middle um, but anyhow I thought I'd do a video because I don't see much on it but it's the history of the cockade <coughs> it's a interesting little tidbit of information if you will so the reason it's called a cockade is because it was worn on cocked hats such as tricorns and bicorns. If you don't know what those look like, they're Rev War. Um, yeah, the Rev War hats. So they were popular from the 1600s up to the mid to late 1800s. So 1860s they were dying out. But um, they were also called rosettes because they looked like a rose, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah. So they were made of a uh, fabric and then a button in the middle. <coughs> um, and they were first used to add color to hats um, but then then once they started getting popular they were always worn on the left side by the way you know, as you can see this is the way my hat goes left side um, but anyhow um, first they were used to bring color to hats because most hats were black back then but then colors started meaning different things. Um, some of them marked familial and national and political affiliations. Um, and they started becoming very controversial um, during the French Revolution. <coughs> so the people that supported the king wore white cockades and the revolutionary forces wore red, white, and blue. The colors you see on the French flag today. Um, and if you wore white during the Reign of Terror, you would possibly have your head cut off by the guillotine because you supported the king. Um, then, well, I guess the, yeah, then before that American Revolution, um, the, in the, the, people seeking independence so you can call them the revolutionary forces also they wore black cockades um, that's why if you buy a hat a rev hat you'll mostly see a black cockade on the front <coughs> um, then towards you know when the American forces were in short supply um, they couldn't find you know shoulder boards and chevrons and all that good stuff they actually started using cockades on hats to mark rank so different colors different designs marked a rank of the officers um, so then yeah rev war um, and after that after the rev war federalists wore black cockades so they stuck to the black ones, and then the Francophile Jeffersonian party wore red, white, and blue. <coughs> um, so yeah, they were mostly used to mark color, uh, bring color to hats, political affiliations, um, national, which is the Irish. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's I don't know. That's kind of a little bit I know about cockades. I'm sure there's more. But um, then they started dying out, like I said before, mid to late 1800s. So, um, yeah, Civil War, after Civil War a little bit. But I kind of like a little history like that. Um, I like them. They're neat. I'm going to start collecting them. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to start collecting cockades. There's, black could also mean mourning. I'm sure you've seen mourning cockades that women wear, men wear. Um, but, um, 
So yeah, that's about the little bit I know on um, cockades, guys. So hope you enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and um, give me some more ideas for videos. Um, and I'll bring them to you guys. So, all right, guys, thanks. Uh, going to a reenactment next weekend. Well, yeah, next weekend. So, looking forward to it. Um, <clears throat> speaking of reenactments, I'm getting a GoPro actually. And I'm going to start making videos of the battles and tacticals and stuff. And I think that'd be a good addition to the channel. Um, if you guys think so too, comment. Um, give me some ideas, so, alright guys, yep, we'll see you later.